and a walrus. Hello, sir. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified for future videos. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Qcraft. In today's episode, we're going to go out and find somewhere to live so I can start building my house. And as always, please leave an interesting fact in the comment section down below for a chance to have it featured in the interesting fact of the day. And also, I am still taking suggestions for what I should actually build for my house because I don't know at the moment. So, so for the moment, we're just gonna find a plot where I should live. And then maybe next episode or the episode after, we will start building it based on what you guys suggest. So if I look on the mini map over here, we are, where are we? We've disappeared. We're there. That's like a little wood down there. And then up over here, we've got some more wood, some mountains over there. Maybe we go through the mountains. Someone's built over there. So I'm gonna go maybe over here in between these mountains. I'm feeling that. Who are you? Why are you armoured and why do you have an axe? Go away. Oh my goodness. I'm having to two-step. Stop it. Why do you have so much health? Oh my goodness, he died. He had so much health. What was going on? So he dropped nuggets. Can I cook the hands to me? That's kind of gross. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. It's a griffin. I hope you contain these. Because I want a griffin. Oh my goodness, look at him. He's magnificent. Hello. I'm assuming you work like horses, but can just fly. Oh, I really want one of those. So we've managed to make it into the mountains. I'm not sure exactly where in the mountains I'm going to build. Some of you guys suggested a hamster house to build. What happens if I build a house that like hangs over the mountain? Would that be pretty cool? Maybe like goes out over the water. Or maybe build a house in the water that's like on stilts. Would that work? I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. But for the moment, we'll find somewhere around here. I can lay a bed down. In fact, I don't even have a bed. Oh, wow. I need to find some sheep. I need to make a bed. So I'm thinking for the moment, guys, I can hide under here, safe and sound, and this will be my home. Also, there's a Mahusid Ravine and a walrus. Hello, sir. Can I tame a walrus? Can we keep it as a pet? For now, you are my friend. In fact, do you know what? I want to keep you, so what we're going to do, we're going to trap the walrus like so because I wish to keep you as a pet no you are my friend and you will stay here with me mr. walrus yes I'm hoping you can't get out of that I don't think you can get out of that you've got a little pen look I have a pet walrus now things are already looking up in cute craft I like this no he can get out get back in walrus right no 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 I didn't plan this through get back in we need to make this too high to stop the walrus I'll put a fence round because it looks weird with it being too high. So I actually need to put a fence down. But for the moment, we're just going to put the walls down. It's for your own good. You'll be safe in here. You don't need to go into the outside world. No, get back in there. Thank you. So there we go. The walrus will now live in here. And you'll be safe. It's all good. As I was saying before I got distracted by the majesty that is the walrus. Over here is a massive ravine that we should totally explore. And try not to fall to my death. So we need to get down there somehow. Oh, it goes on. I need to find a way down. There's some water over there. If I can break it and then use it as like a big slide down, that would be great. So let's find our way around the ravine. Create a waterfall. And in we go. So if we come over here, there's nothing crazy in here that's going to kill me, is there? No, I don't think there is. I need to break away all of this. And then once we broke this away... It will create a lovely little water slide and everything will be fine. I also don't have a crafting bench. There we go. We have a little waterfall to get in and out now. Hopefully the squids don't get stuck down it. Over here, I saw a light coming out. So I'm assuming someone's been here and it's someone's secret base. Or it's not that exciting and it's literally lava. It's literally lava. But there is coal and stuff over here. And this is part of the ravine also. That's a dwarf. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm going to call you Gimli because of your magnificent ginger beard. I love it. There's nothing else in there but lava, so that's fine. That can stay there. I've made a little waterfall. Down we go, boys and girls. Nothing could go wrong. There we go. We're in. Just as I planned. Okay, there's spooky noises down in this ravine. I don't like it, but there's also lots of resources. So we'll ignore the spooky noises for now. We'll get the resources. Wait, what is that? Slate? 
Okay, slate would be good for a roof. That would make sense. A spooky cave. We're heading through the ravine. What wonders or horrors will the ravine have for us today? There's only one way to find out. We're going to put you down there. Do I see anything? I don't see anything. We're okay for the moment. Nothing too scary. Oh my goodness, what is that monster? Ooh! What was that? That was gross. Whatever it was, I didn't like it. Why was that like a ten-headed creeper? What is all that about? Okay, we're going deeper underground, boys and girls. What is gonna happen? Okay, ooh, is that a zombie or someone? Who is that? Who are you? Oh, you're a creeper. Oh, well that's lovely. You explode in fireworks. I much prefer that than the creepy, like, triple-headed creeper. Oh my goodness, there's something behind me shooting me. Where did you come from? Oh, where did you come from? I can't even see you, it's so dark. Oh my goodness. Multi-headed creeper again. What are you? Oh, there's a few. I don't like this. Can I bait them? Come on. There we go. Explode. Did it kill the other ones? Ow. I don't like you. Ow. Okay, that did not work. Wait. That isn't... What is that? It's not an enderman. I don't know what it is. Has it just disappeared? I'm so confused and scared. I don't know what that was. It was like a bat. Oh my goodness. It's back. I don't know where it is, and I don't know what it is, and it scares me. Is it just a reskinned Enderman, or is it something new? Oh, really? Game? Is this how we're doing it? Why are we doing this? I'm being attacked by a headless person. What is this server? Did she drop a chest? Soul fire, hello. An iron box. I got enchanted iron boots out of it. With protection and depth strider. Uh, yes, please. Thank you very much. That's much better than what I've got. I suppose I should set up a little base camp here for now. This is where I'll be living. I need sheep because I really need a bed. So as you can see, I've got a little area set up here. I could probably do walling off so I feel a little bit safer. As it's rather open at the moment. But there's loads of space to work with here. We have my pet walrus still in here, hopefully. You have to be kidding me. He's gone. My walrus is gone. Is he in the water? I should have built him a tank. This is what I should have done. I can't believe he's gone. I don't see him. There's loads of dwarves over there. Why is there loads of dwarves? I had my walrus for less than half an episode, and I've already lost him. But on to brighter and better things. It is time to go find some sheep, because I need to make myself a bed. Where are the sheep? Why do the mountains look like they're cut in half, and there's like loads of floating bits? What's going on? This is crazy. It's called Extreme Hills, is this biome? Okay, that makes sense. A cave looks very inviting. Oh my goodness. Even the zombies have been made to look cute. Just exactly how many cute zombies there are there down here. This is getting out of hand. Can we go rid of those anymore? Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's a spawner. Let's block that. And then let's deal with these. And hopefully no one's took any of this treasure. Please have some good gear. Oh. Let me uh, get rid of you. There should be more than one room, right, though? There should be some connected together, I'm assuming. In here, we have beetroot seeds, which I guess I'll just take, because why not? Gunpowder, coal, coal, rotten flesh. Yeah, I'll take it. Gunpowder, a music disc, some bread, and a saddle. And then I'll just break it. Wait, how are you spawning in when I blocked it? Do I have to put it on more than one side? Or is there another one somewhere? What's happening? Is there another one through here? I'm very confused, guys. What is happening? I feel like I'm just being an idiot. Okay, let's head back out of this cave. We've got all that we could ever need. That was interesting. But back to finding sheep. There's plenty of pigoos. Don't need pigoos. Don't need dwarves. I would like a pet dwarf. Do we have a pet dwarf? Hello, sir. How are you? Lovely beard. What the goodness gracious is that? Hello, villager. Oh, he's a zookeeper. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, what? A raptor vial. I don't know how to buy those, but that seems interesting. Why is there a zookeeper out in the middle of nowhere? What are you doing out here, sir? This may not be a sheep, but look how magical this tree is. It looks amazing, so I want to chop it down. I want to plant some near where I'm going to be living, because these trees look pretty cool. Have we got any saplings for it? I can find out what type of tree it is now, actually. So it is a rainbow oak, a rainbow forest. That'd be amazing. There's so many chickens and I don't want chickens. I literally just want sheep. Why is it so hard? Hello, who are you? Hello, elf girl. Where are the sheep? I finally found a sheep. Where was the sheep gone? Oh, he's there. Is it enough for a bed? It isn't. 
Why is that a thing? Why is it not enough for a bed? Also, there's another zookeeper. Ooh, he has other things. A command wand, a animal net, animal tracker. Whoa. I need to look into what you do and how to use the zookeeper stuff because that seems super interesting. Ah, there's more sheep down here, look. Hello, please be friendly. Oh, she's friendly, that's okay. And there's a turtle, how lovely. There we go, I can now go back and make a bed. And my little starting area is basically done for now. Admittedly, I've got to build an actual house, but we'll get to that next episode. There we go, a nice little bed for me to sleep by the furnaces, so I'm lovely and warm if it lets me put it down. There we go. Life is gonna be good in cute craft once we actually, well, we have a roof over our heads, that's okay. Although if it rains, Diagly, I'm gonna get soaked. Not really thought this through, have I? So there you go, guys. Another cute life episode completed. Please don't forget to leave your interesting facts in the comment section down below because from next episode, I will be starting the interesting fact of the day and also leave your suggestions for a house down below as I will start building the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.